This is the closest front line to Goma, the North Kivu province capital. A few weeks ago, the M23 rebels were controlling the area. The militia has seized swathes of territory in the North Kivu province since taking up arms late 2021 after lying dormant for around 10 years. They used to be positioned here. That's how they were able to control the whole area. They could watch Goma over there, but also the road that led to Ruchuru and the parks too. It was the best place strategically, a 360-degree view that made any movement easy to detect. According to the Kenyan military, their mission with the East African Community Regional Force is over. Deployed in November, their task was to stop the M23 advances and oversee the militia withdrawal. Mission accomplished, they say, citing Kibumba as an example. See Kibomba there? We took it back. The road is now reopened. Activities have resumed. We call on all the people who have fled to come back. The area is now safe. The Kenyan military say they have regained control of that supply route to Goma. But now, despite the Kenyan army presence, only a few motorbike drivers venture on a way that used to be typically crowded. A looted hospital, abandoned houses, downtown Kibumba is deserted too. The 10,000 inhabitants who fled the city have not returned. And the few people we met said the rebels have actually remained in the area. The rebels never left. That's why very few people came back. The regional force presence has changed nothing. The rebels knew the press was coming, so they just moved over to the opposite hill. This restaurant owner, too, says she has seen the rebels. After six months in a camp, she chose to go back home and restart her business. When I came back, the restaurant had been looted. There was almost nothing left, no crockery. My life has completely changed. I used to serve around 20 clients a day. Now it's just two or three. The Congolese government does not believe the M23 has withdrawn and considers the East African Regional Force mission a failure and the rebels strengthened, despite Ugandan, Burundian and South Sudanese contingents deployed in North Kivu. President Chisekedi has been putting pressure on the force to launch an attack on M23 rebels. It started in controversy. On the one hand, the DRC wanted an offensive regional force. On the other, the eastern states were reluctant to confront the M23 for strategic and economical reasons. The controversy kept growing, each meeting resulting in more misunderstanding between the participants regarding the mandate. The regional force has raised hope in the Kanyaruchinya refugee camp, one of the largest in eastern DRC. It houses thousands of people. Francine Yambi is one of them. She lives in this shabby tent with her three children. I'm scared to go home. People tell me that the rebels are still there. I hear many stories of rape and violence. So I'd rather live here despite the hunger and misery than go back home and risk our lives. The UN says more than one million and a half people were forced to flee their home. This woman, Justine, lives in Kibumba and she can't contain her anger. I used to sell beans in Kibumba. I was living well. And now we are stuck here. The Kenyans do nothing. They're such a joke. They tell us the rebels are gone, that we can go back home. But we know they are still there. They kill. They rape. The M23 has always denied committing any abuses. A return home seems more and more unlikely for the displaced as the peace processes have stalled. The EAC force's mandate ends in June and might not be renewed. President Chisekedi said he might ask the force to leave the country if the mandate was not fulfilled by then.